So now I'll show you how to simplify it in case you have current supplies. So this step two here, I showed you, I did not show you yet, but we still do the same thing. We label the meshes clockwise, and then we look for current supplies, either dependent or, in, or independent. If there is an outside current supply, that means it's not connected to any other loop, I already have that I1 defined. So I know that I1 equals 1 milliamp, uh, I1 equals minus 1 milliamp. So if it had been in the other direction, in the same direction as I1, then it would be 1 milliamp, but this is going down, and therefore it's minus 1. And now I only need to write the KVL for the other, for the other mesh, for loop 2, or mesh 2. So I'm going to write 11K I2 minus I1. 5K and 6K are together. I'm going to also sum the two. 11K I2 plus 3 volts equals 0. So I have 22 KI2 minus, now, 11K times I1, but I1 is minus 1, so I'm going to say plus 11K times 1 milli plus 3 equals 0. 22K I2 plus 11 plus 3 equals 0, so I2 will be minus 14 divided by 22K which I don't know how much it is. So I'm going to call this uh, uh, 0.7, minus 0 0.7 milliamps. By doing this approximately, yeah, 14 divided by 22, it's like 7, let me see, 7 over 11, yeah, it's 0.7. Um, this is this current here, and I already know that this is minus 1. So now let's find the current through the 11K. Current through 11K. I'm going to assume that current is going down, for example. I11. And now I11 equals I1 minus I2. So I11 equals minus 1 milliamp, which is this, minus, minus 0.7 milli. So I11 equals minus 0 0.3 milliamps. And if I wanted to find the voltage across, assuming the voltage, assuming this current goes like this, the voltage across is in this polarity, it will be 11K times minus 0.3 milliamps, which is minus uh, 3 volts, 3.3 volts. This is the voltage of drop across the 11K ohm resistor for the circuit. I hope I didn't make any mistakes.